What's up, Jin here from Code and Quick Tips. Today with a new video about tiled maps in Slick 2D. To start off, um, what will we create today or what is the tutorial about? As you can see here, I got a map and a cube or a square that can run on it. And that's basically what we want to create today. We want to create a tiled map, um, that's what you can see here. And we want to import it to Slick 2D or to our Slick 2D game. So the first thing is what is a tiled map? A tiled map is as you <laughs> yeah, as I mentioned before, it's a map you can see here. It's basically an easy way to create a map for your game. And this map consists out of a lot small squares, as you can see here, and every square square has a texture. Through that the map is also very efficient in your game. So to start off, we will need to create an actual map. To do that, we will use a map editor called the Tiled Editor. I'll put a link to the site in the description. Just go to the site, hit Download and download it for your OS. After you installed it, you will end up with a screen similar to that. And here we will create our map. Um, I just want to mention that I will only cover the basics to yeah, create a map. I won't go into too much details because there are a lot good um, detailed tiled map tutor tiled editor tutorials out there. So to start off you just hit new and create a new map. We will choose orthogonal here. That's basically a top down map and the easiest one to do. Um, as a next thing you will choose the width and the height in tiles of the map. So in my case the map will be 20 tiles to 20 tiles and every tile will be a 32 to 32 pixel texture. Um, this value on the right here is very important because you can't change it after you created the map and therefore you must know what that is about. It's basically the size of one texture part of your texture list. So if you create a tile map you will use an um, texture file like that and this file will consist out of a lot of small squares as that one here and every square will be basically one tile and this square it has in my case the size of 32 to 32 pixels therefore I will go to my editor and type in 32 to 32 pixels in the tile size you need to check that before you create the map because otherwise you will run into errors later on just hit OK and you created the map. To start we will need to import basically the textures that we want to use. To do that hit map new tileset and browse to your tileset. Here we go. Um, as I mentioned before my tileset is 32 to 32 so I just type that in and I got no offset or marching or anything on my tileset so I can just hit OK. Now we see our tileset in the editor and we can use it to draw on our map. So go here, click on one tile and then you can basically draw on the map. On the top here you can also find a fill tool. So just fill the whole area and there we go. Now we have filled the whole background with basically a grass texture. We can also add some other things to it. So here we got a few flowers. If you hold the left key and drag above and more tiles, you will be able to add more tiles at one time. So for example, here we can add some flowers to our map. So now we have created the background. On the right here you can see that we are on a layer called Tile Layer 1. I'll just rename that to Background. There we go. As a next step we want to create some objects that will later on collide with the player and that will be in the foreground. Therefore we go to the new layer I can here and click add layer and I will call that layer basically objects. On that layer we can now place the objects that will collide with our player or I will do that. I'll just select another texture and draw on top of the bottom layer. So I'll make that really easy or really simple. So just a um, little map to test. Yeah. So here we go. 
looks pretty good. <laughs> so as a next step we'll need to save the map in our workspace. To do this just hit save as and browse to the workspace of your Slick2D project and save the map there. I will save the map as map.tmx. If I now go into Eclipse to the project, I can see that I've actually impl um, that I've actually got the map in my REST folder here. So I just use an empty basic game to start off, and here we will need to implement implement the map now. To do this, we will need a variable to hold the map. So type private. Um, tiled map because a tiled map is of the data type tiled map and I'll call the map map again. It will show up an error because you haven't imported the tiled map yet so hover over and click import tiled map. So there we go. As the next step we will need to load the map in the init method so just write map equals new tiled map. Okay, the so tiled map will take a string from the past um, and string is an argument and the string is basically the path to our map. So in my case it's the rest folder here. res slash map dot tmx. There we go. Now we basically load the map on startup start up. But if we now hit play and try to run it, you will see we get some errors and that's not good. If we take a closer look at the error, you will see that the path to our tile map or to our tile image is wrong, and that's because um, Slick searches for relative passes, so we must change that basically by hand in the tile map. To do that, browse your um, project folder and go to, the, to your REST folder or wherever your tile map is, and edit, is, edit it with a program that you want. Here we can see the path to our actual texture and we can see that it's not relative but it's an absolute path and that's for sure not good for our game. To change that we will just change it to a relative path so I will delete that out and I will change the path just to tile2.png. Now our um, now Slick will search for the tile2.png relative to the map. So in my case, if I don't give a folder and just then name from an yeah from an image, I will need to yeah, there we go. I will need to place the image here because then it's relative to the map. To do that, I'll just browse for my map real quick. Here we go and drag it into my folder. So now the map will basically search for a relative image called tyler2.png and here we go, it's relative to our map. So save this, go back to Eclipse and here's the image, here is the map. If we now hit run, it will work. So here we go. So always remind to change that to a relative pause because otherwise it won't work and yeah, you may just search so long for errors but it's just in the tile map the path to the images. So as a next step we will need to um, render the map because right now it's quite boring we only load the map but we won't work with it. To do that we just go to the render method and call the map dot render method. The uh, most basic method that I will cover today is just the render method that will take the top left corner of the yeah, that will take as arguments an x and an y, and the x and the y show where the top left corner of the map should be placed. So if we place it at 0, 0, the top left corner of our tile map will be in the top left corner of our window. If we send hit run, we should see the map. Yep, there we go. Yeah, it's a bit small for set game, but it should work for the tutorial. So you can make your map a bit, bi a bit bigger than yeah. So, but how can we now interact with the map? To do that, we will need to read out some information out of the map. And to do that, you can call map.getLayer index. And with that method, you will basically get the 
index of one map layer. So for example, I want to get the objects layer because I want to interact with it. So I will just go, copy that name, and I will search in our game for the objects layer in the map. So int object layer equals map dot get layer index. Now we got the index of the object layer and now we can basically interact with that layer. To do that just go to just call map dot um, get tile ID and you basically paste in an X and an Y coordinate for the tile coordinate and the layer. In our case object layer. With set method call, I will get the ID, or yeah, I will get the tile ID of the tile at the position 0, 0 in the object layer. So if we go back to our editor, we will see 0, 0 is here, and I will get the and object layer is set layer, and I will basically get the tile ID of set tile. Um, to create some really basic collisions with set, you can just um, check if it's if it's zero because if the tile ID is zero it will be empty and then you can go to the tile. But I think that's a bit more than I want to do in that tutorial today. So rendering the map is enough for today. I will cover running around in the map, scrolling the map in the upcoming tutorials and I will also use the map then to create a very basic side scroller so that you can have a um, basic example of a game. Yes, yeah, that's it basically for today. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.